Windows Phone 7 was revealed today. Find out more on today's Tech 7. Hey, this is Lamar from the Wilson Tech One channel. So yesterday was the big press event for the Windows Phone 7 debut. Steve Ballmer described the new line of 10 phones in 30 countries as different and more modern in both design and principles. So the focus is on how real people want to use the phone because fake people have been using phones before. Now when it comes to the software, it's all about getting things done. So Windows Phone has these hubs that are set up for different tasks. Many of these are live updating titles to let you know when you have a new text message, a voicemail, a Twitter update, a Facebook update, or anything instant like that. And also one of these hubs, which may be the killer feature, is the Xbox integration. You'll be able to send and receive game invites, you can customize your avatar, and yes, you can even play games on it. Now when it comes to the camera, you no longer need to use a software button, you'll be able to use the hardware button, take a picture instantly, and then choose whether you want to upload it to the cloud or save it for later. Of course, Microsoft Office is integrated, that's pretty standard. The big search engine is also integrated so now more than three people will be using it <laughs> now the app store is gonna be interesting it's gonna have a lot of the main apps that you'll need but it doesn't have a whole plethora of apps as you'll see in the uh, Apple store or, or in the Android store so we'll have to see uh, how they work with uh, developers to get that done now they had to go and copy Apple and make sure there was no copy and paste in this first iteration of the device why oh why Microsoft what are you doing also the background multitasking is kind of unclear there were some apps like Pandora which were notably absent from the announcements and gadget said that this device won't handle backgrounding which may mean multitasking with other apps may be a problem so we have to see when the actual device is launched how this works. Now, who are gonna be the launch partners? Well, again, we mentioned 10 devices, and some of the partners are HTC, LG, Samsung, and Dell will be the main launch partners. Now, they're gonna be different kind of devices. Some are gonna have big screens, some are gonna have small screens, some are gonna have keyboards, some won't. So it'll be a device that'll you know, be customized for whatever you want to use it for. Another thing that was mentioned about the hardware is that all the devices will have at least one gigahertz processor, which thank God they didn't try to skimp on that. Now, if you want to get detailed specs, this isn't a video to get that in. You can check out the article below from Engadget and they can give you the full lineup of specs for each device. So Tech 7, the Windows Phone 7 looks like an interesting device. I don't know that it has a market with all of the devices already out there, time will tell with that. I do think this is Microsoft's last chance to get it together when it comes to the mobile market, or they're just gonna be blown by with devices from Android and devices from Apple. And of course, let's not count out Blackberry, Nokia, or some of these other big players. They're not out of the market yet either. So I hope you enjoyed that wrap up. All of the links that you need to reference are down below. So take a look at some of those articles from Read Write Web, from Engadget, and get an idea and sense. There are a lot of videos that do reviews. Um, and you could just see which device may work for you. So Tech 7, thanks for watching, and Dave will be here on Friday to give you more mobile news information. And until then, this has been a Tech 7 production.